Uh, today we spoke uh, during this course about um, laparoscopic myomectomy and we know that uh, myoma is a very um, a big issue and a big uh, problem in Europe. It can affect uh, approximately two, um, tw 24 million women in Europe, but um, uh, probably um, approximately uh, one third of the case of the women will be uh, symptomatic. In case of uh, symptom, uh, the main symptom is uterine abnormal bleeding. There is a lot of option and therapeutic option to treat this woman. You can have uh, medical therapy, radiological uh, technique to uh, reduce bleeding, like embolization or uh, ultrasound focalized but also surgery and uh, we talk uh, today about uh, laparoscopic surgery and mini invasive procedure to uh, treat uh, those patients. Uh, laparoscopic myomectomy is a um, mini invasive procedure um, which is very standardized and we talk about this uh, technique uh, aspect, technical aspect. Um, during the procedure of laparoscopy uh, we do. Uh, we need to extract the pieces, the, um, the specimen with um, a morcellator uh, or other technique. But uh, in case of using morcellation, uh, it's very important to use a, a bag, a contained bag specific. That uh, that is our uh, routine practice. In fact, why? Because there is a risk of uh, leiomyosarcoma, un unsuspected, and this was. Um, it has been um, highlighted by the recent uh, FDA uh, alert in uh, 2014. Uh, so we had the discussion about the need to use or not this bag and uh, probably there will be in the future um, a more improvement about this uh, technical aspect. Um, the conclusion was that um, a mini-invasive ap approach should uh, if it's possible, uh, always uh, made, because uh, it improves the recovery of the patient, it improves the rehabilitation, and probably we have less complication uh, in comparison with open surgery. That's why uh, it's important to learn this technique and to have a standardized uh, technical approach of this, uh, of this surgery.